Am I remembering Man of Steel wrong? One major criticism of the film is that Superman's throwdown with Zod ended up killing thousands of people in Metropolis, and indeed, this appears to be the major beef Batman has with him in the upcoming Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice. Now, admittedly, Man of Steel Superman doesn't seem to concern himself with other people's safety as much as we might expect him to do naturally, but I think blaming him for Metropolis' death toll is wrong-headed in the extreme. I've only seen the movie once, but here's how I remember it. Alien asshat Zod tells the world that if they don't give up Superman, he'll destroy them all. Superman gives himself up, and through the cooperation of the military, is handed over to Zod. Zod decides to kill all humans anyway, and sets up a death machine over Metropolis and an ocean on the other side of the planet. Superman escapes Zod and teams up with the military to take out the death machines. Supes heads to the one on the other side of the Earth, because he can get there fastest, and the military takes the one in Metropolis. While Superman is on the other side of the world. Zod activates his death machine, and it appears to pretty much kill everyone in Metropolis who was anywhere near it. Seriously, this thing knocks over buildings and picks people up off the ground and slams them back down again. By the time Superman gets back to Metropolis, the place has been damn near eradicated. The Doom Machines have been destroyed, but... Zod announces that he will manually murder every single human being on the planet because he is super pissed that we broke his toys. Then the fight starts. It's a destructive fight, yes, but it mostly takes place in an area where, let's face it, those who didn't evacuate are probably dead thanks to Zod's death machine, so Superman cutting loose in this fight never quite struck me as the total callous disregard for human life that many have made it out to be, and I have a hard time believing that his brawl with Zod got that many people killed compared to how many were dead by the time he got there. The fight does eventually move into populated areas, but Superman cuts it short by snapping Zod's fool neck, so I'm not really buying all this animosity towards Superman. It's like Holy biscuits, people! Did you not notice the other alien who ransomed the world then reneged when you paid up? Superman turned himself in to save all of humanity. Zod is the one who broke his word and flattened Metropolis and its citizens while Superman was on the other side of the planet dismantling Zod's global death machine in order to save our sorry butts. Yes, Superman could absolutely stand to appear to give more of a toss about the people around him, but blaming him for the destruction of Metropolis and the deaths of thousands of its citizens is unfair and not at all reflective of what actually happened. Or am I remembering the movie wrong? Thank you.